Carpenter Community uh, uh, Charter in Studio City is just one of many LAUSD elementary schools opening their doors next week for finally, as parents have been waiting, mm -hmm. for in-person learning. Yeah, Principal Joe Martinez joins us live to uh, talk more about what students and parents can expect. And you know what, Joe, here's the thing. I think there's probably a lot of excitement uh, among parents and students, but I also have to believe, certainly at least among parents, there's probably a lot of anxiety as well. Are, are you expecting that? Yeah, I think so. First of all, thank you for having me this morning. A pleasure to be with you all. Of course, uh, everybody is excited and nervous at the same time. Uh, we've had a number of town hall meetings to kind of prepare our community for what school is going to look like. Uh, beginning next Tuesday when we welcome our youngest children back on campus. Uh, we've got a lot of messaging all over campus uh, once people do arrive. We've never been a closed campus before, so we've always had parents come on to uh, the playground to drop off their children. That will now uh, not be the case. So we've been doing a lot of explaining and uh, teaching everybody about what school's going to look like starting next week. And a lot of reminders, for example, children who will be returning to this hybrid situation for in-person learning, they need to get a COVID test seven days prior to coming back for in-person learning, right? That is correct. So uh, any child uh, within seven days of returning to in-person learning must have that COVID test. Right now, we're at about 70% of our kids that are returning have a confirmed COVID test with LA Unified. A lot of them will have to uh, get a private one uh, if they're unable to get an appointment uh, through LA Unified. But everybody must have that negative COVID test result uh, before they can come onto campus next week. Principal Martinez, what other changes are these kids going to experience? And, and maybe even their parents, if, if they, they bring their kids to the school, what, what are some of the changes they can expect to see, not only in terms of, of uh, learning, uh, you know, because they've been out of school now for, for a year, but, but also in terms of keeping these kids safe? Yeah, well, we've been learning for a year, too. It's just been remote. But I think when people drop off their children, obviously those procedures are going to be different uh, when when uh, they go into the classrooms, right? So we've had to remove lots of about half the furniture. You've got half the number of seats. We've been rearranging our entire campus. We are actually going to have six tents on our playground because uh, uh, we can accommodate more students in these large tents that are open air that have uh, student desks that they've got uh, electricity so kids can plug in a device they've got a whiteboard teacher desk they've got fans inside them and so really it's going to be a great experience and a learning opportunity for all our children if they're in a classroom or if they're in a tent on the playground everything about school will be just a little bit different but it's going to be exciting and it's going to be fun and we're back that's the most important thing, right? We're back. So but, uh, parents have been told to send their kids back to school with uh, the district issued laptops. So Zoom in room, what is that exactly? What does that mean? Uh, what do parents need to know? Yeah, so I think that uh, technology is not going anywhere, right? So we've all been using a platform called Schoology, and that is where teachers put their assignments up and where students turn in assignments. So we are going to continue to use uh, that Schoology platform. And if you think about it, it actually saves a lot of paper rather than everything being hard copy and turning in that that uh, assignment into the teacher, it can be uploaded onto the Schoology platform and we are uh, saving on resources and materials and that, that kind of thing. But kids are not coming back to school to sit on a computer for the full three hours that they're mm -hmm. with us. However, technology will continue to be a part of our learning for sure. Principal Martinez, what are some of the concerns you're, you're hearing from your parents? What are some of the things they're saying to you, their, their, you know, their concerns, their worries, their anxieties? and has the school made any arrangements for parents to be able to voice those concerns and have their, their concerns allayed? Absolutely. Well, as I said, we've done two major town hall meetings where uh, I believe we had between 100 and 150 questions and we answered every single one of them. We've put together kind of a code book for all of our families that lays out uh, all the new procedures. We put out an FAQ 
based off the questions that they've asked us so that they have access to those answers. Uh, and I think the most part, uh, and at least in our community, I think people are excited about returning to school and just wanting to learn about what the new procedures are so that everybody's clear. And we obviously, we don't want any chaos. Mm. We want everybody to know exactly what they're going to do when they show up. And we want it to be a successful learning uh, environment for our children. So a lot of teaching is happening right now. Principal Martinez, thanks so much for being with us this morning. Great to chat with you and uh, excited for all of you. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> next we week. are. We are. Go Cougars. We're Go back. Go Cougars. <laughs> Go Cougars. <laughs> all right. Thanks so much, Principal Martinez.